Nick. Hi, I'm Virgil Gordon. Groovy. If you're the least bit squeamish, and you cover your eyes or turn around in your seat for the next 90 seconds. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of The Burial Ground uh, Horror Movie Reviews. Um, to kick the show off, uh, I would like to um, review a movie called Blood Feast from 1963. Uh, it stars Connie Mason and William Kerwin, also known as Thomas Wood, Thomas Sweetwood. Blood Feast uh, is about a caterer named Fuad Ramses. Um, he owns a catering shop. Uh, Fuad is played by Mal Arnold. Um, in the back of the catering shop, he has a statue of an Egyptian goddess named Ishtar, uh, which he worships um, uh, in order to uh, to satisfy her, to, to make her complete. He sacrifices young women um, in order to complete Ishtar, um, and he sacrifices them by removing limbs, um, ripping out tongues, cutting out brains, whatever else he needs to do to make her complete, and he includes those in his recipes. One day he's asked by Mrs. Fremont if he would so kindly as to cater uh, her daughter's engagement party. And he obliges, um, knowing that if this uh, is a success, um, then uh, Ishtar will be complete. Um, the plan doesn't go accordingly. And uh, he meets his untimely demise. Um, Bien's as far as like history and, and stuff for Blood Feast, uh, you know, it was reportedly made for seventy thousand dollars, made within two weeks. It's also considered to be the first gore film, the first ever uh, film to show somebody dying with their eyes open. Um, very shocking uh, gore scenes for its time. Um, it's been twenty years or so since the first time that I saw Blood Feast, and. Uh, um, it represents a certain time to me that, uh, as far as film goes, where that we'll never get back. And, you know, to me, um, Blood Feast isn't about the filmmaking. It isn't about the acting. It isn't about the storyline because, realistically, there isn't one. It just it was when filmmakers were having fun. Uh, they took chances, uh, and basically they said, you know, fuck you, Hollywood. We're going to do it our way, and that's all there is to it. 30 some years later, um, we've had the opportunity to see these movies restored and redone uh, and distributed by companies like Something Weird Video. And of course, there was the 1982 cult video uh, beta release of, of Blood Feast. It was the first issue of the Something Weird Video uh, VHS release of Blood Feast. And then, of course, the latest um, Something Weird DVD. Um, so, um, as far as Blood Feast goes, uh, if you haven't seen it um, and you're in the mood for something strange, something campy, something funny, um, check it out. Uh, I would give it four stars out of five uh, just because of what the movie represents. Thank you very much. I'll see you in episode two.